All right, so John and I are talking about uh, what I would consider a gentle launch. What is a gentle launch for a three week course? Doesn't matter how many weeks. Um, the key right now is how would I do a gentle launch? And uh, I typically have said, you know, a gentle launch, the way I do it, I still do it to this day, is two emails and then two social media posts. Um, that's it. And my launches, grateful, grateful that my launches, uh, when I do that, are about 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 on average per launch with two emails, two social media posts. And when I say social media posts, I don't mean, um, you know, I, I mean that the two posts are on every platform I'm on. So I'm on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, those four places. Yeah. Um, and then plus the, the, the two emails to my list. So um, can I ask you a quick question? Sure. You said five to seven thousand. You're talking about dollars. Dollars. Because you mentioned that earlier. Uh, how many yeah. people and what price point in general? Uh, price point has been between seventy five and one hundred and fifty per sale. Seventy five, one hundred fifty per sale. So do the numbers. It's like uh, something like fifty to seventy to sometimes eighty people join the course. So anyway, and I have a list of my my launch list. The people who well, I'll just say this. I have, a, I have two lists. I have a content list and a launch list. Anyway, uh, the, the, the launch list is the one that gets the two emails. And the launch list right now is, I think it's about 2,000 people. Um, I have to check. It's, about, it's around 2,000 people. And then the content list gets it at the bottom of a, of a newsletter um, twice. And the, the launch list is, I think it's about 5,000. I, I have to check. Anyway, something like that. Um, and then my social media following, my biggest platform is on Facebook. And it's only 8,000 people on Facebook. So, um, so yeah, two social media posts, two, two, two launches. Now, uh, I can, I'm able to do that because I have built a loyal audience over years of people who are used to my gentle launches. Now, would I say that that would, be, if I were starting over today, even if I had the same audience size, I do my very first launch. Um, do I, do I think I could make that? Well, maybe, maybe, but. Um, I'll, let me just, let's take it to the next level to say, okay, you've heard my gentle launch formula. What would be an addition to that to make it more robust? And I would say a free to attend paid, free to attend webinar. I call it an FTA webinar. Now, why do I say free to attend? Why don't I just say free webinar? Because it's free to attend live, but if you can't attend live, you will pay for the recording afterwards. That's my favorite strategy. If I were in the, the, the FTA webinar is what I do, what I use to launch my longer group programs. So it's like, okay, before I get people to ask people to sign up for six months group program or a year group program, I do my FTA webinar. I don't just, I don't just send two emails, right? When, when it's a, it's, it's a year long group program or six months, it's, it's more than two emails. I mean, it's, well, okay, it's, it's something like, it's not that many more. It's something like three emails and three, so, it's something, no, it's still two emails and two social media posts for the webinar itself. But after the webinar is over, I will also send two emails and two social media posts about the year long group program. And by doing that, I fill my group program. Um, this year, it was 70 members paying 100, 100 to, 111 to 150 a month. So most of the new members are paying 150 a month. The old members are paying 111 a month and the 70 members. It's literally half and half, have old members, have new members. Another group program I did, the FTA webinar is currently 90 paying members at 60 to 80 per month, depending on when they got in. So it's a good, it's a good strategy. And so what, let me explain the FTA briefly here. I have a whole other thing on this, a whole other course on this, but free to attend paid recording which means that the webinar has to feel valuable enough for me to say, I'm proud to charge for this afterwards. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, but I, can, I, I usually charge somewhere between, uh, I think it's 30 to 75 uh, US dollars um, afterwards for the recording. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's robust enough for me to feel good enough charging that, that amount. Um, so in other words, the webinar might be 60 minutes, might be 90 minutes. And it's, you know, typical free webinars, quote unquote, are like a third of it is a sales pitch for the upsell, right? 
a third of it is credibility building. A third of it is, you know, credibility building, meaning how great I am, my story, some case studies. A third of it is that. A third of it is sales pitch. This is, you know, it's, no, a third of it is teaching, which is myth busting kind of teaching, like aha moment kind of, oh, I never thought of it that way. You know, a third of it. And then a third of it is um, sales pitch for the program. That's not my FTA webinar. My FTA webinar is if I were doing 60 minutes, um, you know, five minutes at the front is for housekeeping and who I am, five minutes. And then I have um, 50 minutes of content and Q&A, straight up, no selling, 50 minutes of content. And then five minutes at the end of selling the upsell, upsell program, talking about that. And actually, and I'm sorry, one more thing, I, I, important thing I need to mention. I always schedule, if I'm launching a group program, I'll do the FTA webinar, right? And I will also schedule a half hour afterwards as an info session for the group program. So I market the FTA webinar as a one hour webinar. Hey, come to my one hour webinar. And I do it at two different time zones, you know. Um, and then once people sign up for the FTA webinar, the confirmation email says, by the way, this webinar, you know, as a reminder, you, you've got to attend if you want the free recording. Because yes, if you attend and then fill the feedback form afterwards, you get a free recording and any notes I took, right, for it. So that's one way of getting it for free. You attend, fill the feedback form. But the other way of getting it for free is if you, not free, but if you, the way you get it is to join my group program. So the confirmation email of the webinar says, hey, you can either get the recording this way or sign up for the group program that's coming up and you also get this as a bonus, or you can buy it for $30, $75, whatever afterwards. So three ways to get the recording of this. So by the way, I also have an info session about the group program that's immediately after the webinar for 30 minutes if you want to schedule time for that. It's totally optional. So John, is that helpful? That's gentle yeah, very... launch with, with a bonus. Yeah. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. You expanded it uh, quite nicely. I really appreciate that, George. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you for asking. It's, 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 a, big, it's a big bite out of the apple, I guess is what I'm saying. You know, it's like a big commitment. To, and a different and a different direction for me because I've been yes. my, I have I have a services business yes and, and now but I've been wanting to do this for a long time and yes. I and I was not going to do it I kind of yes. took it off the table yeah and then yeah. after the framework kind of the framework got reorganized class. Yes. Now, now I'm excited to do it yeah because I think awesome. I got a hot subject and I we'll see what happens yes looking forward to to hearing more about it.